Let's be honest here. $20 million is more money than these people have ever dreamed of. Oh, see, now that pisses me off. First of all, since the demur, we have more than 400 plaintiffs in. Let's be honest, we all know there are more out there. They may not be the most sophisticated people, but they do know how to divide, and $20 million isn't sh when you split it between them. Aaron. Second of all, these people don't dream about being rich. They dream about being able to watch their kids swim in a pool without worrying that they'll have to have a hysterectomy at the age of 20, like Rosa Diaz, a client of ours, or have their spine deteriorate, like Stan Bloom, another client of ours. So before you come back here with another lame-ass offer, I want you to think real hard about what your spine is worth, Mr. Walker. Or what you might expect someone to pay you for your uterus, Miss Sanchez. Then you take out your calculator and you multiply that number by 100. Anything less than that is a waste of our time. By the way, we had that water brought in special for you folks. It came from Llewellyn Hinckley. <clears throat> I think this meeting is over. Damn right it is. The kids run wild. What's that? I saw him in a mall one day. I said, damn. Those look good on those beautiful ears. So I bought them and I said, next time Aaron does something nice or says something nice, I'll surprise her with them. You know how long ago that was? Six months ago. I'm sorry, I And just... so what I'm thinking is, uh, Aaron, what I'm thinking is that either you gotta find a different job or a different guy. I mean, I mean, there may be many men out there who don't mind being the maid and getting nothing in return, but I sure as shit ain't one of them. I can't leave my job, George. Yes, you can. You can just quit. People do it all the time. How can you ask me to do that? This job. For the first time in my life, I got people respecting me. Up in Hinkley, I walk into a room and everybody shuts up to hear if I got something to say. I never had that before, ever. Please, don't ask me to give it up. What about what your kids are giving up? Look, I'm doing more for my kids now than I did living with my parents. One day, they'll understand that. Well, what about me? What about you? <laughs> You think either one of the men who gave me those children asked me what I wanted before he walked away? All I've ever done is bend my life around what men decide they need. Well, not now. I'm sorry. I won't do it. Well, Aaron, I'm not them, so... I mean, what more do I have to do to prove that to you? Stay. What for? Hmm? I mean, you got a raise. You can afford daycare. You don't need me. 